there's really nothing better than a nine to five for an office job. Unless you're a celebrity or you have your own business or your own company or you're famous. And I think that's why people are miserable because you work your whole life working jobs that you hate or jobs that are just boring. And you just feel like you're doing the same monotonous task over and over again. And you don't even feel like you're being treated like a human being. You feel like you're just treated as labor and that these companies don't really care about you. And they wouldn't hesitate to lay you off. It doesn't matter if you work for these companies for 10 to 20 years. They don't value loyalty anymore. And it seems like a lot of these companies and a lot of these positions just has high turnover rates because everyone feels like they're being overworked and they're not valued. But as much nine to five jobs suck, if you're the average person on this earth, a nine to five job or an office job gives you the best chance of having financial stability. These jobs actually let you stand a chance in this world of high inflation, high living costs. Everything is expensive now. Rent is expensive, houses are expensive, cars are expensive, food is expensive, going out is expensive. You don't even stand a chance if you work retail or in a restaurant. Most people that work in retail or in a restaurant live paycheck to paycheck. And people that I know that work retail have to work two to three jobs just to make ends meet. But we have to make the best of the situation that we're in and try to live our best life. But we need financial stability to live a good life, to have the time to do the things we wanna do without having to worry about if we have food to eat or if we can pay our bills. Boring office jobs are the best. Unless you're a celebrity or you have your own business or you have your own company, there's nothing better than an office job or a nine to five job. Office jobs or nine to five jobs have benefits. You get health benefits, paid time off. When you get sick and you call out, you get paid. You don't have to work holidays. You don't have to work weekends. And sometimes you get paid when you're off on the holidays. When you work a nine to five, it might be boring, but it pays well and it sets you up for retirement. They help you with retirement or 401ks or 403bs so you can actually retire because outside of that retail restaurant they don't set you up for retirement they don't help you at all most of the time so you might have to work for the rest of your life i know people that work in a restaurant when they're 70 years old they didn't get benefits they didn't have a 401k they don't have the money to retire and that's sad and as much as nine to five suck at least you stand a chance of retiring other than nine to five, you only have retail and restaurant, but you don't get benefits when you work retail or restaurant because most of the time when you work retail or restaurant, they don't give you full-time hours, so they don't have to give you benefits. Like some of y'all might wonder, how come when I work retail and I want more hours, I can't get more hours? Because if they give you full-time hours or a certain amount of hours, they have to provide benefits and they don't wanna do that. So keeping you under a certain amount of hours helps these businesses save money. They don't have to provide benefits. And when you work retail or in the restaurant, you don't get paid time off. You don't get health benefits. You have to work weekends. You have to work holidays. When you work a nine to five, or in the office, you don't have to work weekends. You don't have to work holidays. You actually have time to do the things that you wanna do. I have friends who work retail or in a restaurant and they work two to three jobs and they don't get to have weekends off and they don't get to have holiday offs. They have to work weekends and they have to work holidays. They can't spend time with their family on Christmas. And a lot of times when you're working retail or in the restaurant industry, especially in the restaurant industry, you work from open to close or you work from midday to close and your whole day is gone. When you work in an office or when you work nine to five, you go to work at nine, you get off at five. You still got the whole day ahead of you. You can still go out and play basketball. You still have time to hang out with friends. You still have time to chase your goals and passions. You still have time to do the things you wanna do. After a days of hard work, after grinding, you can't do that when you're working in the restaurant. You work the whole day or you work from midday to night. Your whole day is gone. You don't have time to do anything and it's hard. When you work in an office or you work a nine to five job, it pays well. You get a 401k and sometimes these 401k benefits, your employer will match you dollar for dollar. That means for every dollar you contribute to your 401k, your employer will match you and they'll contribute a dollar. Your employer is basically giving you free money. If you put a hundred dollars in, they'll put a hundred dollars in. You're basically 
basically getting $100 for free. You don't get that when you work retail or in a restaurant. Unless you're a manager, then you get full-time hours, and then you get benefits. But sometimes these benefits aren't even as good as 9 to 5 benefits. You get way better benefits when you work in an office or 9 to 5. The only way to really get benefits when you work retail or in a restaurant is if you have a higher up position, like a manager position, or if you're like a chef. And even then, it depends on the type of chef you are and what type of restaurant you work for and if you're getting those full-time hours. But generally, when people work in a retail or restaurant, they're working entry-level jobs like cashier and customer service or they're a waiter or waitress, and you don't get any benefits. And most of the time, you don't get paid maternity leave. When you work a nine to five, you have a higher chance of getting that paid maternity leave. Now, when you work in retail or in a restaurant, you can still get maternity leave, but it's not paid. For the average person, a nine to five job is the best because out of that, it's hard work and little pay. You'll struggle to pay your bills. When you're struggling, you can't really chase after your passion. You don't have time. You're worried about how you're gonna pay your bills. You have to get a second job. You might be working every day of the week just to make ends meet. You might be living paycheck to paycheck. These nine to five jobs will give you that financial stability to chase after your dreams and to have the time to chase after your dreams. Cause you work from nine, you get out at five. You still have the rest of the day to do the things that you wanna do. Spend time with family, spend time with friends. Work on your passions, start a side hustle, but you need money to do that. You need stability to do that. You need time to do that. And a nine to five offers that. And I get it, it's boring, but boring pays well. When you think about it for the average person, retail and restaurant is hard work. Office jobs is hard work too. And people hate their jobs anyway. If they're both boring and they're both hard work, you might as well pick the best. The one that pays the bills. The one where you don't have to struggle. Because yes, everybody wants to talk about you have to work smart, not work hard. But you need money to work smart. You have to work hard first. You have to make that money to have money to work for you. If you don't have any money, you can't have money work for you. That's what people don't talk about. Everybody wants to tell you, just work smart, just work smart. You need money to do that. You need financial stability to do that. You need to have the time to do that. It takes time and it takes money money to build that foundation. It takes years of hard work until your business or company or side hustle to become stable enough for you to have passive income, for you to finally have time to breathe and relax. It takes time to build that empire and a nine to five job gives you that time. It pays well, gives you that money so you don't live paycheck to paycheck. And you actually have money left over to make that money work for you. Whether you invest it, whether you open up your own business, you have your own side hustle, you open up your own clothing line for you to have the money to buy and sell things. If you wanna flip sneakers or anything that has resale value, that you can get for retail or cheaper and to flip that you need money to do that you need time you need stability and a nine to five job gives you the best chance to do that i get it nobody wants to work nobody really wants to work a boring nine to five job or an office job everybody just wants to have fun or have their own business or be an entrepreneur or have passive income and just go on vacations and enjoy life spend time with family spend time with friends go out and have fun but you need to work Work hard first. You need to grind, save up money, be willing to learn new things, develop new skills so you can be capable and start your own business. And when you're willing to learn and when you have the knowledge and the capabilities, you'll have multiple streams of income. But to get there requires hard work. And I understand not everybody wants to work in the office. Not everybody wants to work a nine to five. Not everybody wants to work a boring job or a job that they hate, but you can get out of it. You can do what you wanna do in life. And the best way to do it is by working a nine to five. You have to work your job so you can pay the bills and feed yourself and you work on your passions or your side hustles at the same time. And at first, it won't be enough for you to live off of it, for you to quit your job, but you gotta keep working. You need that job for stability. And once your passions and side hustles, once they grow and expand, and when you get to the point where your side hustles becomes your main source of income, once you can sustain yourself or make more money than your job, then you can quit.
and really focus all your time and effort on what you really want to do in life. But you need to work hard to get there. And all of you can do it. All of you can do the things you want to do. You just have to figure out what you want to do. Come up with a plan. Strategize. Implement. Follow through. Work hard. And be consistent. And you can all make it.